Oh, hello there and welcome to my kitchen. Last week, I showed you how to make churros. Today, I'm going to show you how to make rich, delicious hot chocolate, which will go really good with the churros and also you can have it as it is. So, for this recipe, you will need chocolate, milk, cocoa powder, cornstarch. Here I have 2 teaspoon of cocoa powder. To this I am going to add 2 teaspoon of water and mix it real good. So all the lumps are gone and it's like a smooth paste. Add more water if you need. Some cocoa is super dry that it soaks up all the water so you may need to add little extra. Make it like a smooth paste. All the lumps should be gone. Next we are going to add milk and a cocoa mixture to a pot. Let's add our chocolate slurry to it. Now we'll cook this on a medium heat. Drinking chocolate's history goes back to 500 BC when the Mayan people used to make it by taking ground up cocoa seeds, mixing it with the water, cornmeal, chili papers and few other ingredients. That time it was served at room temperature. While our milk and a cocoa powder getting hot, let's make a slurry out of cornstarch. Here I have 2 teaspoon of cornstarch, to this I am going to add 2 teaspoon of water. Mix it good until all the lumps are gone. Now cornstarch will settle down at the bottom after a few minutes. So before you add it to the milk, make sure you stir it and then add it. In the early 1500, a Spanish explorer brought back the cocoa beans and the drink making machine to Europe. Soon it became popular and the Spanish people started serving it hot, sweetened and without the chilies. Keep stirring this occasionally. Now this is ready for our next ingredient that is cornstarch slurry. So I'm going to add the cornstarch as I said, stir it. Hi kimchi, here's my cat, he's wondering what I'm doing. He is always very curious when I'm in the kitchen cooking something. In early 1700s, hot chocolate came to London and the chocolate houses became popular. It was like a coffee shop then. In late 1700s, they started following the Jamaican recipe by adding milk to it. Until then, there was no milk in the hot chocolate. Once you add the cornstarch, keep stirring it so it doesn't sit at the bottom until it cooks. Now let's turn off the heat and add chocolate. We are going to add one cup of chocolate. Here I am using combination of milk chocolate and dark chocolate. Now you can use just milk chocolate if that's what you like. So let's go ahead and add our chocolate. So here is my chocolate. It goes in. Be careful. It just splashed a little on me. It was hot. So <laughs> you be careful. Mix it good. Until the 19th century, hot chocolate was used as a treatment for stomach and liver diseases and of course, as a special drink. Today, we all drink it as a sweet treat and every country has their own version of hot chocolate. Now our chocolate is melted good. If you feel you want to add more chocolate, go ahead and add it. I gave you the basic recipe, but you can change it according to your taste. You can add extra stuff. Or if you want, you can reduce the ingredient quantity. Now you may have noticed that there is no sugar in this recipe. It's because we are using chocolate which already has sugar. And at the end, you may add marshmallows or whipped cream which also has sugar, right? So you don't need extra sugar in the hot chocolate. But if you are using really dark chocolate and no milk chocolate, 
then I will suggest you to add the sugar according to your taste. Our hot chocolate is ready to serve. You see how silky and smooth that is. Let's pour it in a cup. Now I'm going to top it with the whipped cream, but you can just drink it as it is. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to share, subscribe and like. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. Let's try our hot chocolate. I have a croissant here. What I'm going to do is take some bite and dip it in. Mm. You should try this.